Hi Brainbox. Welcome to Brainbox YouTube channel. For this episode, we will discuss the third and last part of the topic percent as part of a whole, which is solving for the rate. But before we continue, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to keep you posted for more review topics. You can also avail of our CSE books and other reviewers. Just click the link to our shop in the caption below. For the discussion, we will be using the general equation shown. Percentage, P, is equal to base, B, times rate, R. Because of this equation, there can be three possible scenarios or cases depending on what is being asked. Here are the three cases. The first one is when the percentage, P, is missing. The second one is when the base, B, is missing while the third and last one is when the rate is missing. In this episode, we will only be discussing the third case. This is when we will look for the rate. In this lesson, as with the other two cases, we will need to translate phrases into mathematical equations. As a review, recall that there are some words that provide us clues as to what operations or mathematical symbols are being described. In this discussion, the common clue words that we need to familiarize ourselves with are the following. Is, or, are, means there is an equal sign. Of, means that the operation is multiplication. What, implies that it is the unknown variable that we are looking for. Let's place n as our variable. Also, please take note that we will be converting a decimal number to its percent equivalent. To do this, move two decimal places to the right and place a percent symbol. We are now ready to solve for the rate. Let's go. As mentioned, this case is when the rate is missing and we will be solving for it. Let's assign n as our unknown rate. Let's look at this example. What percent of 76 is 19? Here, what translates to our unknown n of translates to multiplication, 76 is our base, is, translates to an equal sign, and finally, 19 is our percentage. With this, we get the mathematical equation, n times 76 equals 19. To get the value of n, we need to transpose 76 by dividing both sides with 76. We then get n equals 19 divided by 76. This leads us to n equals 0.25. We then convert this decimal to its percent form by moving the decimal point two places to the right and placing a percent symbol. With this, we say that 25% of 76 is 19. Let's look at this next example. What percent of 485 is 97? Following the previous example, we first need to convert this to a mathematical equation. Here, what translates to our unknown rate, n, of, implies multiplication, 485 is our base, is, implies an equal sign, and lastly, 97 is our percentage. With this, we get the mathematical equation, n times 485 equals 97. To solve for the value of n, we need to transpose 485 by dividing both sides of the equation by 485. This leads us to n equals 0.20. We then convert 0.20 to its percent form by moving the decimal point two places to the right and placing a percent symbol. With this, we can say that 20% of 485 is 97. Since we have thoroughly discussed solving for the rate, let us try to expound our knowledge by answering this practice set. You have one minute to answer each item. Good luck! Number 1. What percent of 2050 is 82? Timer starts now.
time is up. The correct answer is 4%. The mathematical equation for this is n times 2050 equals 82. Isolate our unknown n by dividing both sides by 2050. We now get the value of n which is 0.04. Convert this decimal to its percent form. This leads us to n equals 4%. With this, we say 4% of 2050 is 82. Number 2. What percent of 5 is 18? Timer starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is 360%. The mathematical equation for this is n times 5 equals 18. We transpose 5 to the other side. This leads us to n equals 18 divided by 5. Solving this, we get 3.60. We convert this to its percent form which is 360%. We now say that 360% of 5 is 18. Number 3. What percent of 26,000 is 13? Timer starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is 0.05%. Translating this phrase to a mathematical equation, we get n times 26,000 equals 13. Same with the previous items, we isolate n on one side by dividing both sides with 26,000. From this we get n equals 13 divided by 26,000 which is equal to 0.0005. We then convert this decimal to its percent form by moving the decimal point two places to the right and adding a percent symbol. With this, n equals 0.05%. We can now say that 0.05% of 26,000 is 13. That's a wrap. Share this video for others to learn too. If you want to learn more, you can avail of our CSE books and other reviewers. Just click the link to our shop in the caption below. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.